What's up everyone? Um, we're going to be looking at some stuff today, um, specific, uh, specifically the state of Florida and how um, Republicans can win it more than they did in 2020 and 2016. Um, but first of all, I want to look at Miami Day because that's basically um, what it came down to in 2020. That's why the state basically uh, flipped in a favor of a 400 or 300,000 vote difference between the two candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Now this is a new, uh, this is Election Shuffler. I really like this um, website where you can just uh, adjust the county's uh, percentages and how much you want them to win by. Um, but anyways, I want to look at well, obviously, we're going to look at the state of Florida. And the first county I kind of want to look at is Miami-Dade. So, let's just say it's Ron DeSantis versus Kamala Harris. Right now, Ron DeSantis could maybe win Miami-Dade, but I don't think he will. I think it will be a three-point margin. That just raises up the, uh, the difference to 3.85% and a difference of 422,000 votes if you just bring down Miami Day by plus three, point, three percentage points. And then in, you can win You can win back, the Republicans can win back, um, let's say, uh, Pinellas County. If they win back Pinellas County, their chances just raise up dramatically. Um, if they win Pinellas and they get plus three in Miami Day, you're working with the math there and you, uh, you're you looking good in the state of Florida if you're able to do that as a Republican. Now, um, in Duval, I think it'll be about the same margin, maybe 3.1. Um, Kamala Harris is for, or a Republican, just a Republican versus a Democrat in the state. You have to run down, um, you have to stop the Democrats from uh, making Duval bleed blue bleed um, blue the ball needs to stop uh, going so left but you still got some encouraging signs like Palm Beach County you don't do terrible here for Republicans and then Broward um, you overperformed I think well yeah Joe Biden like I think he underperformed here by a small percentage so Florida is looking very good for the Republicans um, even when you take down Miami-Dade to a plus three for a Democrat and you take back um, Pinellas County. Um, but that's Florida. Now we're going to talk about the state of Texas. And Texas would, is very interesting um, how it's going to be. So, I just want to go ahead and tell you what the Democrats need to do to flip Texas. They need to bring down the margin to about one point in Denton County. And they need to win Collin County by three points. Let's just say that, four points. And if they win Collins by four points, and they get close, maybe even closer than that, 1.1, 1 .1, and then in Tarrant County, you can win by 2.5 or 2.4 in Tarrant County in the coming years, and then you, you know, do better in Harris County just by a tiny bit, not that much. Um, you do better there. You s Republicans are still winning by look at the bot here, 491,000 votes. They're still winning by a pretty solid margin, so. What do you have to do? Look, Republicans are doing better down here in the valley. Or at least Donald Trump did with the um, border message. Or um, Latinos not coming out for Democrats as they used to. And Republicans are winning Latinos better. Um, so, this one is Star County. If Republicans get it down to 2.4, you know, 2.04, it just... It just 
if you're a Democrat, you don't like the results here in twenty um, in twenty twenty. You don't like it. Um, but what else do you have to do? You have to raise the number in Travis. You have to raise the number, and this is what the Democrats are doing. They're raising the numbers in these suburban counties. You have to raise the number. Let's say you get plus five here next next uh, four years or so eight years. You get plus five. You get a little bit better showing here. Fifteen. You get better showing here. Point, no, not twenty. You get a twenty point eight two here. Um, you know, you're working with math, and you're doing way better in these counties. But is it enough? It is still not enough to overcome a four hundred and thirty three thousand voter difference. Now. How else you have to you have to look at El Paso? You can win El Paso. You can do a little bit better, but again, those Latinos, how are they going to vote? Um, El Paso could be one of those that show um, in the election what could happen um, if the Republicans can do better in El Paso with Latinos. But um, you know. You just have to do better in the Valley. The Democrats have to do better than they did in the Valley in 2020. There's not much votes down here, but it still matters. Look, Hillary Clinton won most of these counties by double digits in 2016. And Joe Biden just did terrible down here. Um, but you can also win, get close in this county. Um, you know, you can get close in a lot of counties. But again, still over 400,000 difference. And I get very confused um, when these counties show. Now, here's the thing. You can be way better in Dallas County, and you can get the difference to 326,000. That's impressive. And also, you can do a little bit better next to Harris, 15 or 16 points. It just doesn't work. It, it honestly doesn't work. On um, Democrats, it's going to be tough to flip te Texas, but you can do it. You can do it by... Raising the number in Tarrant, you can do it by winning Denton, and you have to win over six to seven points in, the, in Denton and Colin. Let me show you an example. If you win in Colin by 13 points in the future, which could happen, which is pretty look, um, good looking for the Democrats, you win those by a lot, and then you win Tarrant by 18%, and then you raise it just a little bit in Dallas. Look, Republicans are only leading by 55,635. That's all you had to do. But you can also do a little bit better in Harris. If the suburbs are bleeding blue, when I say bleeding blue, bleeding Democrat, Democratic votes, you get a whole new story. But also, the Republicans have extended their margins in the rural counties, so that could, um, that could, um, block off their chances, the Democratic chances, the Democrat chances as well. The next state we're going to look at is Nevada. Nevada, um, you know, Nevada is a very interesting state. Look at, but Republicans can do way better here. They've been doing way better. It was very close in 2020. Now, what do they have to do? They have to get it a little bit closer in Clark County. Clark County is always a little bit closer. You get it down to maybe seven points and then you do better in Carson City do a little bit better you still don't win um, maybe do better around um, areas like this and then maybe even almost flip this county um, then you win by 384 votes you have to put down the margins in Clark, you have to overperform in Clark and um, Washoe. Um, in sorry if I said that wrong. In twenty, uh, in any election, Republicans have to overperform here and here um, in order to win. They don't even have to win it. They don't even have to win those those counties. And you have to overperform in some of these counties that are the lighter red, um, like this county, for example, that you should. So there's still hope. There's a lot of hope for Republicans in Nevada. We're gonna reset this map, though. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna look at. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully um, it makes sense. Um, and see you next time.